I got back yet again. Uh, this week we're doing uh, data logging. The wonders of data logging. Coolest thing I think I've ever done with my car and a computer. Uh, first thing you need to do is get a uh, cord. I got mine off eBay. You can also get them from ECU Talk. Uh, they also have some free software that's great. But they have a thing on it where you can donate with PayPal. I suggest you donate. It's great software. Uh, excellent stuff to look into. I'll put a link to their website on this video. Uh, let's get started. Once you get your cord, you're going to come down to your fuse box and right there is where this should be mounted. That's your consult port. And that's where it connects. Let's get rid of this beeping. So what you do is just uh, take your harness. Mine looks like this. Some look a little cleaner, a little worse. And uh, plug that in. And once you got that plugged in, some have it all self-contained. Mine came with a circuit board like this deal. All you gotta do is plug that into one end. And uh, most of them come to a serial port on the other side. So you gotta get a serial to USB adapter. Once again, I got mine off eBay, super cheap. And just plug that in like so. So we got it from the data port, to the board, to the adapter, to the laptop, and uh, we're going to go ahead and find out where we put our keys, and turn the ignition on. Never really tried to film a laptop screen. When you do, we got this neat little program here. You just set the uh, COM port, mine's 4, and you have, oh, not ready for that. You have a whole slew of options here. You can do RPM, airflow, injector, speed, fuel economy, fuel used, air temperature, timing, all this cool stuff. Throttle, O2 sensor, water temp, uh, trip miles per gallon, and you can click log. And when you do that, it logs everything, obviously. You can set options. Uh, another neat thing you can do is uh, fault codes. Just come down here and click read fault codes. Intake air temperature sensor. That's because mine is unplugged. As you can see, my check engine light is on. You can come down here, click clear fault codes. and oh, well, it had an error but you can clear the fault codes and make your check engine light go away so once you get all that set you got your stuff picked out just click uh, display gauges and you have a wonderful array, a wonderful array of gauges Let's start her up oh, turn the radio down and they've got, they've all got an analog and digital readouts. We'll zoom in on the RPM there. And it's all logging all of this, so it's a good idea to not watch it while you're driving. You can look at all the logs later. Uh, you can set how many gauges there are in the options. And the logs come out to look something like this. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger here. They'll have a list across the top of what everything is and the amounts there. It's all very, uh, very crazy to look at, but 
with a couple minutes on Excel. You can make it look just like this. Let's scroll up to the top here. We've got all of our time, RPM, throttle, all that across the top, and all the amounts. You can graph that out with the graphing tools on Excel and uh, have fun with it. It's a very helpful tool. Uh, helps with diagnostics, helps with uh, all kinds of stuff. It's actually how I knew that my airflow meter was maxed out because when I floor it, it goes to the end and stops. So the program is ECU Talk and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description for this and uh, happy tuning. Just grab me I know the breakdown Everything is gonna shake now someday I know the breakdown Tell me again, am I awake now, baby?